Hello welcome to my channel. I will continue with last drawing part of toy carousel. I showed how to draw other parts. You can watch them from video list. I add these technical drawings of top base part. Technical drawing link is on description part. If you want you can open it during drawing. Now I start to draw part 3. I show last part drawing before. Click multi-line command. Then draw a line and look technical drawing for measurement. Press M button from keyboard. To create radius. Follow geometry from technical drawing. Then we add constraint. Now we create circles. Only I use multi-line button. Now I draw horizontal line. Then I draw a vertical line. Again I draw a horizontal line. And draw a vertical line. Now press M to draw a circle. And draw a vertical line. And we do same thing to draw a second circle. Again draw a vertical line. Then we will close it. Lastly we draw horizontal and vertical lines. Now we add constraints. Click horizontal constraint and select line. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and like video. Now click radius constraint. Enter 2.5 millimeters from keyboard. Click distance constraint. Enter 3 millimeters from keyboard. Click distance constraint. Enter 2 millimeters from keyboard. Again click distance constraint. And enter 3 millimeters from keyboard. Click vertical constraint button. And select vertical line. Click vertical constraint button and select radius point to constrain them. Now we can constrain measurements by looking technical drawing. Click length constraint. Enter 5.5 millimeters length. Click radius constraint. Enter 18 millimeters radius. Click radius constraint. Enter 4.5 millimeters radius. Click wireframe view. To see details of drawing. Click vertical constraint. Select two point by pressing control key. Click vertical constraint. Select two point by pressing control key.
Don't forget to subscribe my channel and like video. Click Distance Constraint. Enter 19 millimeters from keyboard. Now I'll change radius constraints. I select 2.5 millimeters both radius. Now click Distance Constraint. Enter 6 mm for vertical line. Again click Distance Constraint. This time enter 9 mm for vertical line. And click Distance Constraint. Enter 8 mm. Now I check constraint. I recommend to check measurement from technical drawing. Select two points by pressing control key. Click distance constraint. Enter 21 millimeters length. Now again click distance constraint. Enter 100 mm length. Constraints are completed. Now I draw a circle from center. Trim unwanted sides. Enter 39.5 mm by clicking radius constraint. Sketch is completed. I click exit sketch button to go part design. Click revolve button. I click as is. To exit wireframe view. Hold Ctrl key and select corners. And click chamfer button and enter half a millimeter. Again click chamfer button and enter half a millimeter for other parts. Click Polar Pattern button. Select part and enter 8 for objects number. Select reference point. After that enter 8. Occurrences. Polar pattern is completed. We will select a middle plane to go sketch. Click sketch button. And select Xi plane which is located in middle. Click circle button. And draw two circles I add diameters later. Click diameter contrain. And enter 155 millimeters for first diameter. 
Enter 185mm for second diameter. Click Exit Sketch button. Now click Pad button. Select Symmetric to Plane. Enter 13mm pad. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and like video. Click chamfer button. Enter 1 mm. Select back side of part and click sketch button. Now click Rectangle button. Draw a rectangle. Click Distance Constraint button. Enter lengths as I show on video. Distances will be 3.37 and 2 mm. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and like video. Now click length constrained. Select center point and corner of rectangle. Enter 84 mm. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and like video. Click Exit Sketch button and click Pad button. Enter 1 mm pad. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and like video. Now select Pad Part and click Polar Pattern button and patterns will be created. Enter 8 patterns for occurrences. After that click OK to complete patterns. Now toy carousel top part is completed. This was last drawing part. Next video will be assembly of toy carousel. Click save and save the part. And give a name. Click OK.